you're not familiar with this, never seen it, well, today we're going to learn what it is and what it does. Welcome back to the channel, guys. On today's episode of This Will Fail, we have an HVAC actuator controller here. So, if you're not familiar with this, never seen it, well, today we're going to learn what it is and what it does and some of the symptoms you might encounter with a failed unit. So, this one's actually out of the 16 Ford Explorer. We're going to pick on that today. And this is the mode door actuator. So, you know, what is this? What does it do? So, it's a controller use a motor and it goes to a door inside the HVAC housing. So when you change that knob to the airflow to the dash or out of the vents or down the floor or you want to go from hot to cold, well, the computer or the controller controls this. This actually is connected to a door. The door moves and allows the airflow to change or where it goes across the heater core or the evaporator core. And this is the reason why you don't have hot air, or cold air, or it's stuck air stuck on the dash, or vice versa. If this is failed, that uh, that's not going to work. So, symptoms is when you're trying to change the temperature, it doesn't respond. Most likely, this is failed. Yes, the controller may be bad, or there's a wiring problem. But 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it's this is what the, is the problem is of that high of a failure rate. So, you know what makes the models the most prone well domestic vehicles particularly ford 15 and newer these things are constantly failing chevy same thing uh, jeep same thing the foreign cars not as much they do fail but they're not as prone to it um, but they do fail you know hondas and kias toyotas and hondas do a pretty good job but there's you know, why do they fail? Well, there's a couple reasons they fail. I'll, sh I'll crack this open. There's a motor inside of it, and there's plastic gears. So as you kind of can tell what could happen to plastic over time, they put a little bit of grease in here. It gets slung away. They get hot. They get fatigued, and they, the gears can break, or this motor can just burn up. When these gears break in here, you'll hear it click. There'll be an audible click. Usually, you'll... You know, you turn the key on, and the first thing in the morning is click, 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 click. Well, that's a symptom of a bad actuator gear inside this unit right here. And uh, that's a sure way of knowing that that has failed. Like I said, there's multiple of these on the vehicles. Just not one. There's multiple ones. So, if one if one fails and you're underneath that dash and you had to pull it, change them all. Because uh, it's a good, that's a great time to do it. It's nothing worse than paying for a dash pull, there's four down there, you change one, and then three months later, the other one breaks, and you get to pull the dash again. So, uh, obviously, if you go anywhere, you should ask them if there's another one down there, and if you should change it. So, the other question is, can I go with aftermarket? I highly suggest not to. Go with the original equipment. They're gonna last a lot longer, they're gonna work out of the box. The aftermarket ones struggle with the newer vehicles with communication-wise. And they just don't work. They don't last very long. Usually six months or a year, they're gonna break. Uh, I know that the OE ones are breaking quick, but not after a year. Usually it's five years or a little bit after that ways. Uh, as far as what this costs, well, it can range. Every make and model could be different. It depends how accessible this unit is. If it's easy to get to, you're probably expecting $150, $200. If you're pulling the dash, here it's gonna be well over a thousand bucks because the labor to do that's gonna be quite a bit and that adds up really fast. And um, when you do replace these, there's sometimes you need to do a reinitialization with the computer or if you're having trouble and it doesn't do it, you can always pull the fuse to that computer, let it sit for about five minutes and reconnect the fuse. And when you turn the key on, it should do a reinitialization since it lost power and it relearned the position of the doors. But well, those are a few tips. If you guys got any questions, put them below, subscribe, hit the like button. Until the next video, guys, see ya.